Thanks so much, Mel. Right now, we're turning things over to Entertainment D. Yeah, let's talk about some of the celebrities that have been helping out during this pandemic. I will start with Angelina Jolie. She's the latest now. She's pledged a million dollars to No Kid Hungry. It's an organization to help those in need during the coronavirus pandemic. Now, over a billion children are out of school worldwide because of closures linked to coronavirus. Now, many kids depend on the care that uh, and nutrition that they receive during school hours. So that includes 22 million kids in America who rely on food support. Now, the organization is using its resources to make sure those kids, even though they're not in school, are still going to make sure that, that they get fed. Okay, so Angelina Jolie has do donated a million to that. Also, Kylie Jenner, she's doing her best to help those suffering from coronavirus, donating a million to relief efforts to help buy masks, face shields, and other protective gear, which will be delivered directly to the first responders, which is awesome. And Taylor Swift. One of your faves. Yeah, Taylor Swift, T-Swizzle. She's helping out fans by donating $3,000 to help them pay their bills. She reached out to several fans who publicly expressed their financial struggles, including uh, one that has no job, no income, and no way to pay her bills after her workplace shut down. And another fan who reached out was a cocktail server that um, Taylor Swift offered to help alleviate some of her financial burdens after she applied for unemployment. So uh, they're saying in the millions have applied for unemployment in the U.S. So, so many stars have been donating. We're seeing this. Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, Rihanna, Arnold Schwarzenegger is the last star as well. So, uh, a lot of people coming out to, to help out the best So they generous. Can. And mm -hmm. it goes such a long way at this That's time. So Good true. souls. So true. Should we talk Up about next. Elton John? Let's do it. I just saw his photo. Yeah, it was saw his, his photo. birthday yesterday or two days ago, D. Yeah, every yeah. day's blurring together. That's so right. it, it was this week, though. This we can week. tell you that. <laughs> Elton John wants to make sure medical professionals feel the love on Sunday night. He's going to host a benefit special airing uh, March 29th. That's on Sunday on Fox. That'll pay tribute to frontline health care workers and first responders amid the pandemic and seek donations. So uh, it's called Fox Presents the iHeart Living Room Concert for America. Participants will include, check out this list, Alicia Keys. The Backstreet Boys. Oh, wow. Billie Eilish, Billy Joe Armstrong, Mariah Carey, Tim McGraw are just some of the names. All the artists will appear from their own homes and be filmed with their personal cell phones, camera, and audio equipment. All the proceeds that are raised will go to Feeding America and First Responders Children's Foundation. The hour-long special has no commercials, starts at 9 p.m., and will be broadcast on some radio stations as well. That's Incredible cool. acts, mm -hmm. and I love the range of them, too. Yeah. Like, it goes all over the place. Trying to get everybody from younger to older generations to get in there because they want to raise that money. Right? That's it's almost awesome. like a telethon kind of idea. Now we're going to play a game. Play okay. at home, friends. So Rena, the entertainment producer, mm -hmm. really wanted us uh, to test our skill set. And it's based on the season finale of Schitt's Creek. Yeah. All Canadian cast. Mm -hmm. So apparently they recreated some movie uh, posters yeah, as so part they of took the promotion. Yeah, so classic posters. Um, you had uh, Dan Levy and Noah, Noah Reed. Reed. They decided to, these romance scenes in these classic movies. So uh, that is. This is the first one, D. Oh, no. They're reenacting it. Oh, Do you come want a clue? On. Yes. Directed by John Hughes, known, of course, for the 80s teen oh. rom com stars Molly Ringwald. Ah, uh, is this. Uh, not Sweet 1984, 16. 1984D. It's not Sweet 16. Is it Sweet 16? Uh, no. Close. It's it breakfast. Has, what are you looking at breakfast. right now? 16. Candles. Yes. <laughs> you were going to say Breakfast Club, which is, uh, yeah. which is another John Hughes all, film. Yeah, he did all, of the, all those movies and all the. Same people were in all those movies. 16 candles. Okay, D, you're up next. Okay, so I got half a point there, right? Play along. Okay, uh, D, here's yeah. your picture. Forrest Gump. <laughs> no, do you want a star? <laughs> Is that not even close? Do you want some clues? Please? It's not close at all. Oh. Uh, it starts Julia Roberts. Oh, oh, I'm just a girl looking at a guy asking her for I'm just to love a him. girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. The well, answer is... Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Grant. Mm hmm The movie is... Uh, Ah, uh, help me. Yell at the screen. Uh, Notting, Hill. Notting, Notting Hill. Notting Hill. There you go Thanks, from 1999. Friends. Okay, last one real quick. Go D. It? Go D. Okay, had the famous line, we'll always have Paris. And Harold's looking at you, kid. Oh. 1942 was the year. The film was. Yeah, I'm, uh, this is this was, I'm cheating a little bit. I knew this one. Oh, it's you're Casablanca. Being, you're being nice, D. I'm being honest, yeah. We didn't know what it was, No, though. I had no clue. Renna sent it to us, and I was like, uh, it's Humphrey Bogart or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> By the way, I yeah. thought here's looking at you, kid, was from Butch, uh, Cassidy, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance right. Kid. I was like, Gone with the Wind? We named off all the old movies <laughs> okay. we knew. Yeah. We're learning all kinds of things today. We'll be back with more BT right after this, everybody. It's yeah. fun to try, though. Yeah, it's always good to. You did good, though.